What's up, skanks? It's your favorite dead president, the JFK, here today with a special war recap. I'm bringing you guys the uh, Town Hall 1011 portion here of Poetic Darkness vs. Cold September. want to preface this video as always by saying if you're looking for the Town Hall 9 portion of the recap, check the details, check the description. There's going to be a link to take you to that part of the video. Also, if you really don't want to hear the initial commentary, the war breakdown, the details, all that good stuff, you can go and scroll down a little bit further. There's going to be a key or the times uh, where the attacks that I'll be featuring in this video will all be time stamped and all that good stuff. So let's just kind of get into this war and let's talk about it a little bit. This was actually an arranged match between us and CS. This was a rematch, actually. We played Colt September a while ago and were able to edge him out by one. That time the score, I believe, was 115 to 114. So we had one less point this time or one less star. Colt September had a few less stars. We actually had an arranged match scheduled um, that was not with Cold September however we missed our spin after about 15 minutes and CS was more than willing to oblige since they missed their range too and they pretty much bent over backwards to make sure that they could match us because I think they were spinning for a 30 and they managed to find 10 more accounts so they could play us instead of doing like a farm more. So huge props to them. You know, always a pleasure to war those guys. They always bring it, always have some great bases, some great attacks. Um, as you can see, both clan used uh, every attack as far as that goes. As far as the breakdown, each clan had five Town Hall 11s with 10 Town Hall 10s. Yep, I'm right, okay. <laughs> and then 25 Town Hall 9s. So both sides were obviously able to clear all the Town Hall 9s, which is business as usual. We didn't need any dips on our side. We were actually able to scout all 10 of the Town Hall 10s on the Cold September side. They only needed two dips from their Town Hall 10s on our bases, so they almost cleared all the 9s, um, just a few dips on their side, so good job to them as well. However, they left quite a few of our Town Hall 10s up, and that was really the story of the war, and that was really, um, that was the difference maker. They just, you know, were not able to get it done dropping with their Town Hall 11s on our 10s, and our Town Hall 11s were able to dip pretty easily this war. If you kind of look at the war events here, we can just kind of see what was going on. Um, the war was actually kind of over with about half an hour left, believe it or not. And our guys, instead of trying to clear their last Town Hall 10 that they had up, our two 11 hits that we had in the bag, they both went for a three star um, on the CS number four just because uh, they were hoping that they would make the highlight reel. But unfortunately, uh, that was not the case. So yes, yeah, so a great job to our uh, you know Town Hall 11s for bringing it through for us, for cleaning the Town Hall 10s they needed to for the win. You know, and just unlucky for the guys at Cold September as far as that goes. Before we get into these replays, just kind of want to give some shout outs. Uh, Watcher with two two dip cleans, club with a clean, and then almost a triple here on a Town Hall 11. Um, huge shout out to Big Easy too with two dips. He um, is a dip master and a great attacker. Brock with a Town Hall 10 three star, SD with a Town Hall 10 three star, Carl with one, and Jax with one too. So this video is actually just going to be showing those four attacks. Um, and without further ado, you know what, let's just get into these replays. So let's start with number six and let's check out this Laloon by SD. So this is going to be a queen walk Laloon, if I remember correctly. Yep, he's going to start it at 12, and he's going to go from 12 towards 3, because there's actually a Tesla farm up there at the top that he is just going to pretty much um, destroy with this AQ walk and just take care of it. Um, super great value with this walk right here with this queen. You know, just, I mean, he's taking out all the traps as far as the Teslas go, more or less, and he's able to create a funnel as well for his BK is going to send a suicide BK in towards this air defense actually at three and it's going to be uh, pretty sexy. 
So still working those minions, you know, just clearing a little bit of the trash off there. So now he's actually causing his queen to stop because he does not want her to keep pathing down. So that's why he actually rages his king early there, um, trying to get him in front of the queen so the queen does not walk around because he wants her to live. That was his plan for the raid. So King's still doing some work, um, obviously was not actually able to get into that AD, but was able to put the queen right in on the base where he wanted her to. So he timed everything perfect, so he was able to take out the BK, the air defense, and the golem all in succession, kind of like one, two, three. And now kind of his goal with this attack, with the rest of it, he's going to try to path his AQ right down through the middle of the base, and then he's going to come counterclockwise with his Laloon. So hopefully he's going to totally negate the sweeper. He's got perfect pathing into this Inferno Tower at 12, as you can see. You know, he, he dropped that Hound in the Loon, and those Loons are going to go right into that IT. There's nothing getting in their way, so that's going to be ripped for that. Um, and then he's also able to negate the sweeper because it's focused on the Hounds, and it's not even affecting the Balloons much if any um perfect pathing you know right through there this queen is still doing some pretty awesome work still has her ability in the bag she's about to take out another ad then she's going to work her way into that it so i mean at this point this base is pretty ripped um you see he's got the minion swarm too he took over 20 minions for a cleanup but he is just he's wrecked this base let's see if he actually uses the queen ability i think he does yep okay so takes out the IT and pretty much the rest is clean up. So this was just a sick attack. Um, SD actually had a plan in mind. He had a Town Hall 9 scout it, do his opener just to make sure it would work. And then he was kind of able to figure out the flight from that point. So awesome, awesome attack from SD. You guys are going to see a lot of Laloons here. Um, actually, three out of four of these are going to be Laloons if I'm not mistaken in here. So, all right, here we go. So this is a little bit different than the Laloons. What Brock is doing is a mass miner at Town Hall 10. Pretty cool strats. Um, he's actually going to go with the miners at 6 and at 3. And more or less he's going to try to cut them right on the outsides of the base. And then he's going to do his push with a boulder CC, a giant, and his royals right up the gut of the base. And the reason he's doing that is, is actually all the bombs are in the middle of this base. So he's pretty much going to avoid them completely with the miners. You know, he's not going to have to worry about the miners going boom and uh, all die <laughs> as far as that goes. He, you know, even though this seems like a spam attack and it is a little spammy, it's still, you know, I mean, if you're putting every bomb in the core, you're putting all your ITs in the core, you're going to get great value for this kind of attack with a mass miner as far as that goes. So this heal... Just a little bit off. The miners really aren't in it, you know, so could have used that a little bit better, probably just to keep them all up at full health a little bit longer, but it's not even going to matter because he's got these miners who are right up the middle just tearing stuff up, and he's got, you know, these miners now that are at 9 o'clock just going through the base. Um, still has his queen up, and she's going to be able to take out the wizard towers. Obviously, she's going to go down to the archer towers, but huge, huge taken down that splash damage so uh, those wizards didn't pretty much fry the miners as far as that go so the rest of this is just clean up um, super dirty as always he's got that one bowler just kind of traveling back a nice little split there with the miners as well so awesome attack from Brock here usually you don't see at Town Hall 10 the mass miner spam <laughs> as far as that go but uh, these these uh, these level twos at Town Hall 10 work pretty well as far as that goes. So now we've got a, another Laloon here from Jackson. Laloon's making a comeback, man. I haven't, I don't remember seeing this many, this many Laloon attacks at Town Hall 10 in quite a while. So he's coming in, coming in from nine o'clock. He's making the funnel with the wizard. I'm guessing he's going to go towards six, just, uh, just based on the fact where he actually put the wizard. Um, clear a path and looks like he's going to actually pull that CC, take this air defense out, and I'm guessing he's probably hoping to take out this Inferno as well. He's only got to deal with one Expo right now. Obviously all the Expos are on ground if you look at them right now. Another reason 
that he used a Laloon because he didn't have to worry about those Expos. With the extra damage, uh, since the buff, frying his hounds or his pups as far as that goes. So now he's uh, raging his queen in. He's got that poison down. He's going to deal with the CC. He's going to deal with an AD and the royal. So great value as far as that goes. I think the only thing here is had to use his ability, queen ability right here, yep, and he would have rather saved it if he could have because what's going to happen in this now is he's still going to be able to take out the enemy queen, but when he gets to the IT and all that stuff over there, now that he doesn't have his ability, his queen is going to go down. See, if he still had the queen ability, would have been able to get right into that IT most likely and take it out. Um, uses the king, bust him into this compartment. Great strat right here. Um, great value, you know, just a few wall breakers in, in your BK and you get in to, to the AD. That's very old school Town Hall 10 Laloon style as far as that goes. So now he's starting his flight from three as you can see and he's working it counterclockwise right around the basic. And I don't know what it is with counterclockwise flights, but it seems like our guys uh, really love those quite a bit. He's got some great pathing going right now with his loons. They're all going to go right into the inferno and they're just going to get there before they all die. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> oh man, it could have gone so different. Um, same thing with these loons coming in right here. They just manage <laughs> to live again, you know, but at this point it's GG game over cleanup. Uh, crazy. I know he expected his archer queen to actually live <laughs> or he and tended her to but you know it's hard to know how much damage you're going to take with that baby drag coming out and having a deal with the king and then the queen in all quick succession as far as that goes so now the last attack of the war this is going to be from our man Karl Marx um, great philosopher wise man as you all know and he's coming with guess what another queen walk Laloon. so setting the funnel up here he looks like, if I had to make an educated guess, since he is an, an intelligent guy, he is going to try to send the queen clockwise around the base. Guessing he's going to try to get her in and take that AD out right there. Yep, so wall breaks her in, and now he's going to look for the royals. He's going to look for that AD, and he's going to look for the CC, and hopefully that burner or that inferno right above 6 o'clock as well. So taking his time, using some... Some minions, obviously, to um, create a funnel over there. What he's going to do is he's actually, and my best guess is if he's dropping those minions at the 9 o'clock, he must be creating a funnel for his BK to do something. Um, spoiler alert, I have watched these attacks one time <laughs> as far as that goes. Man, I was trying not to say it, but I said it again, guys. I'm sorry. Um, you're just going to have to deal with it, I guess. So uh, he's got his queen under rage, holding that ability right to the very end. Perfect timing, perfect timing on that. And now we've got one, two, three. Takes out the Inferno, takes out the BK, takes out the CC. That is a super, super sexy, um, super hard to pull off to. But the way the base was set up, very vulnerable to that type of attack and very vulnerable to how he planned it, you know, with that queen charge right in at six and only had a wall breaker in one. So now he's got her under another rage. Now she's going to deal with the enemy queen and pretty much once the once that AD's down and that BK works his way in, I mean, it's game over. Even with these two expos that are actually on ground and there, it's not even going to matter. Uh, perfect freeze. You know, he's able, if you're able to get an air defense, an expo, and an IT with one freeze. Um, you're not going to get much more value on a Laloon attack. Not even close. So he's still got two haste holding on to those. Could probably swag one if he wanted to. Still holding on to quite a lot of balloons here. And it's crazy because, you know, this queen walk took quite a bit, but he just took his time. And the thing is, once these loons and once the flight gets going, I mean, it just absolutely wrecks and I mean, it decimates a base. Still got his max hound that hasn't popped, and pretty much from here, it's just you know, annihilation, super quick cleanup.
So awesome job, Carl. So yeah, just uh, wanted to do something a little bit different today, guys. I know that normally I play music. There's no commentary. And I will get back to that, but I just kind of needed a break instead of uh, trying to find a playlist and all that good stuff. So thanks for bearing with me. Hope you guys don't mind that I switch it up a little bit. Uh, really appreciate everybody watching, and as always, hope you enjoyed.